Of course, we're still talking about that weather around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got another storm that's going to be coming in. Now we're starting to see some showers moving into the North Bay, but we are going to continue to see it picking up as it moves in. You've probably heard us call it a bomb cyclone. So what does that mean? It's basically when you think of the bomb part of it, it's something that's dropping quickly. The pressure is dropping quickly within this area of low pressure and the cyclone is any low pressure. And so when you see that pressure dropping, quickly in an area of low pressure. That means it's intensifying. So far, we've seen a drop about 17 millibars when you measure how intense this area of low pressure is, and it's happening over a short period of time within 24 hours. And so that causes the winds to get stronger, and we're looking at the possibility of winds gusting at 20 to 55 miles per hour along with heavy rain. Now, we also look at the storm track. Is this tapping into some deep subtropical moisture coming all the way across the Pacific from around the Hawaii area. Well, it is doing that as well. So that's going to enhance the rainfall, especially farther to the south of the Bay Area. All of this meeting up to cause a stronger storm to come in, but it won't be directly over us like the storm was last Tuesday. So we're starting out with some waves of steady rain and in some spots, storm rangers showing the yellows and the darker greens there indicating some heavier rain and that's right over Marin County. But we've seen it raining for hours up around Lake and Mendocino County, even switching over to snow for those upper elevations. And then where we are seeing the biggest impact right now over Marin County, it's continuing to uh, increase there in terms of how heavy that rainfall is. And now moving into San Francisco as well as the South City area with some, or some of those lighter showers, but also those gusty winds. We've also seen it off and on for the coastline and now moving over toward 280 around the Millbrae area. But this is what we can expect, at least in the near term, when we see the center of this storm continuing to get closer, the storm is going to intensify for us. It's going to really start to pick up with that heavier rainfall by late morning. So here we are at nine o'clock. We're still seeing the North Bay, the target of that heavier rain, but then it does start to shift into the peninsula as well as parts of the East Bay and eventually into the South Bay right around 11 o'clock to noon and then it starts to ease up for the North Bay by early in the afternoon but still coming down for the rest of the Bay Area by 2 to 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock we're seeing it taper off for areas from the peninsula on northward while we're still getting that rain in the Tri-Valley and the South Bay into the evening commute. Then we start to see these pop up showers, and this is when we could see some thunderstorms. And that's when we also may have some small hail, some rumbles of thunder, some brief heavy downpours. But notice the change in the colors around the Mount Hamilton area. So as you go up above about 3,000 feet in some of our hills, we could see it getting coating with another coating of snow in some of those spots. And then eventually by early Friday, it's going to give us a brief break. But as far as rainfall totals, any anywhere from about three quarters of an inch of rain in Livermore to over an inch of rainfall for San Jose, Morgan Hill, as well as some higher rainfall totals farther to the north. These areas in purple, well, that's where we could see anywhere from two to possibly four inches of rainfall. As we go through this last week of March, when will it warm up? Well, our models in the long range forecast are still showing that cold air spilling down due to the dip in the jet stream, as well as more Sierra snow and more Bay Area rain. So no change in this pattern just yet. Take a look at Santa Rosa. This is looking out 10 days and those high temperatures through early next week still showing that we're going to be well below normal, only reaching into the 50s. So we're keeping those sweaters, jackets, coats, scarves, all of that stuff on. On. And we'll also at times need the umbrella as well, especially again this weekend won't be a total washout, but we're going to see some more scattered showers moving through.